be getting dicey. <laughs> Okay, uh, bright yellow. Let's let's just jump in. Um, we've got some Vistani camp sounds. Um, do we have any? It's still raining. We've got to get some rain going as well. This is one of the mm. wettest years in Barovia in decades. I've heard. It honestly is. It, yeah. All right. Mm. Oh, atmospheric. Still um, raining. Still raining. Puddles everywhere. The grass is wet. The trees are wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Paint more mental pictures. Jeez, that was incredible. Houses are wet. <laughs> yeah, what else? <laughs> is the ground? The ground is sodden. wet. As w <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> sodden is probably a better word. You're right. Um, you guys are sort of tucked away um behind some trees at the base of the vistani camp that is sort of the hill that leads up to the vistani camp um the path ahead of you leads up the hill uh, and you know that at the top of that hill is a is a tent surrounded by wagons that the uh vistani uh campers oh okay, campers they are just having a <laughs> summer camp they're all Hello, campers. <laughs> yeah they um they're all within those wagons uh, you know that around the outskirts of the city as well. Um, so I'm getting some weird sounds here. That's weird. Uh, okay, sorry. Did you say city? Um, sorry, on the outskirts of their, their camp are seven of these little hostels that the, um, that the Dusk Elves guard. Um, you know that a, a few Dusk Elves also, some, some of them were higher ups, uh, live within those sort of hovels. They're very run down. Hmm. Do, we, do we remember? I don't. I'll just get that out there now. But do we know where sous vide lives? Which hovel he frequents? Yes. Yeah, the um, the from memory, it was the closest one to the path. That was the one that you he was last seen. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> Good. We, we go there, right? Oh, you just this is this is off to a great start. Um, no, no. So, from where you are at the moment, you're very tucked away. Um, what you can see as well, now that you're taking a look uh, up at, towards the camp, there's a group of uh, maybe eight dusk elves that are patrolling um, around the sort of circumference. Uh, behind the hovel, sort of one step back from the hovel, is just moving around, keeping an eye out. Um, there's not as much partying that you might expect from your time here previously. Um, maybe it's the rain. Maybe it's something else. Everything's wet. So it's either the rain or anything else in the world. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Got it. It's the rain. It's, they just don't... <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the rain. It's, uh, it's always raining here, though, isn't it? Really? Yeah. No wonder. At least they were on a hill last time. If it wasn't raining, it must be such a rare event that they were like break out the booze. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're like we can finally use this outdoor furniture that we spent so much on. What a superb callback! <laughs> oh. um, look, if you look at this profile view of the hill. Mm. Mm. We're down the bottom of the hill with all these houses. Mm. It's quite with the the doors are facing away as well, so it's kind of hidden ish from the top, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There's definitely obviously standing right in front of these buildings where the doors are. You'd be well covered, and it looks like there's dusk elves in front of each. Yeah, there's a there's a dusk elf out the front of each one, standing guard. That closest one, that's not sous vide, is it? Uh, the hovel that is closest to the path is the one that you last saw sous vide. Sous vide. <laughs> Fucking sous vide. <laughs> there's no glass sous vide. Sous vide. Uh, M. Sous vide. Sous vide. Uh, but there's, one, there's a dusk elf standing out the front door, but that's Correct. not. Doesn't look like sous vide? No, no. Sous vide? Doesn't look like him. 
That's not well. I mean, it's a dusk elf, but it's not sous vide. Well, it's similar. <laughs> yeah. I, won't, I won't say. <laughs> Quite similar. Um. So okay, step one: we should make sure our carriage and our entourage are like well covered by the the forest, right? And and we are. We're not coming up the guts of it like we look like on the map. We're not on that path. Hmm. No, no. So uh, for the map's sake, you guys are yeah. off off the map at the moment. All right. So we want to make contact with with our man on the inside, sous vide, right? Is that kind of step one, mm. or am I missing? Yeah. yeah, that'd be good. That'd be a good step. All right. Should I stealth my way over to that first hut and then see if I can kind of look through the window? Yeah. What do you reckon, American? Yeah, do it. Is there a window? I- I can assist with some guidance. Um, so these hovels, they don't have much in the way of windows. As you can see from the, at, the, at the images at the bottom of the map there, you can kind of see that they've got a door. Uh, there's a little sort of a hole near the top so that might look in through sort of near the roof area. They've each got chimneys, but there's no windows to be seen on these, on these um, hovels. Is there smoke coming out the chimneys? Uh, there is. There is smoke coming out the chimneys. Don't go down the chimney. <laughs> All right, that's we rule. Put a line through that one. Go down the chimney. They look like, looks like this is going to be hard. So there's when you no windows. It's like a are, are they worn down? Like there's a crack or something that you can. The, I mean, these aren't through. in the greatest um, state of uh, repair, so there might be, with some investigation, uh, an ability to uh, find something to, to look through. All right, perhaps that's kind of best bet. Trying to avoid being mm. seen, go up the, the back maybe. Well, should we? Ju- yeah. Okay, if we do that, I want to cast guidance on Morley. Mm. It only lasts for one minute though, but I imagine him scampering around. At least one minute of buff to his stealth will be helpful. <laughs> um, Esmeralda currently waiting on horseback at the moment is is just also just wants to know what is it you need from me yeah we need to come up with what our signal is for her as well uh well bill will potentially message oh what's the range on that Mm. probably not enough 60 or 90 feet yeah something along those lines uh we can take a look though i can look into the sky to see a fireball yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, if that's you see a nice a fireball, one. Uh, it's 120 feet. Oh, yeah, it tapes. Depending on how big this camp is. Well, I mean, she can. As, as, if it's just yeah, for it's, getting a signal for her to do something, then she can just go 120 feet away from you guys right now. She can just be around the edges as well, you know? Like, if we are currently going around the edges, then she can stay with us. Okay. But 120 feet is b- behind. Okay. 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 Um, if he can't reach you for a message, we'll do the fireball. <laughs> yeah, I'll... I'll uh, you know what? <clears throat> I can cast fog. Okay. Good. <laughs> that would, that so, would be uh, good. If you see a bunch of fog showing up uh, at the top of the hill... That's another sign to go cross on. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it's Strad's fog? <laughs> yeah, don't get confused. Then Look for definitely. good fog only. <laughs> I might just wait Our for... fog will have good vibes. I might just wait for Bill's message, I think, might be the most safest one. Second, okay. though, if I see fog, I'll... What do you want me to do? We're no, not sea fog. This is land fog we're talking about. <laughs> oh, you want to be careful of yes. sea fog, Esmeralda. I'll tell you now. <laughs> But if you do see land fog, then definitely. Are we talking about sea fog or land fog? You just said sea land fog. Land fog. If you see land fog <laughs> with your eyes, do the same plan as if Bill had. Right. Uh, and what is and my and what is my plan? Right. Well, here's the thing. Oh. Right. We need to get sous vide up there first. Sous vide's gonna go in and just invent some reason to kind of go up to camp and come back. He's going to pass us the message of kind of 
what's got the general vibe and particularly where Luvash is. Okay. So then we'll know where Luvash is. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah that's what we yeah. want to know. Yeah. yeah. And when I get the signal, I do... Get on your horse. You want to just distract them, just mm. like ride past them, and they'll spot you. And okay. they'll be like, there's, there's that fucking Esmeralda. And cause yeah. a ruckus. What do you have here? Some yeah. like firecrackers or something, right? Uh, I've got this. And she holds yeah. up the alchemist's fire. Oh. Which is that? Uh, Don't throw that at the children. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> That's exactly what your old friend Van wants. Van be like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i think like you just want them to chase you okay yeah and yeah. you get out of here okay and got we'll it. meet you back at the at the uh village yeah lose yeah. them in the woods okay i could do that you're a keen horse woman <laughs> rider <laughs> clean horses <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a lot like it's sailing sweet. a boat <laughs> yeah it is uh, thank I you believe thank you. i would know Thirdly, uh, if you hear me screaming, that's also a signal to distract them away from me. <laughs> okay, so it's screaming. It's all about. It's message, Bill, given in my head. Uh, fireball, mm -hmm. if there's a fireball. Yeah. And land sea fog. Yeah. Okay. I think I've got it. Mainly the message, though. We're, it's kind of. <laughs> yeah. <right on. laughs> We've just got some backups, that's all. Mm. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Can I get some guidance? Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to place my hand on, on your shoulder and whisper you words of encouragement that fill you with a stealthy sense of confidence in your own limbs. I've rolled a plus one to help you. Oh, thank you, American. I don't know if I could have really done that without that. I, I agree. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I pre would presume you want kind of a stealth roll for me kind of sneaking up between the... I'm going to wait till like... I don't think either of the two that would kind of see me would be looking. Um, you know I mean? Between? Yeah, so... Rounds, like in a video game. What I need you to be aware of is every few minutes these, uh, these dusk elves that are in this clump uh, start moving around uh, clockwise. Bad way to patrol. Ridiculous, awful tactics from them for starters. <laughs> well, they've got they've got one person on each house that's looking out in the direction at any one time, and these guys are going yeah. around just keeping an eye out uh, from all angles as well, just in case. So they're it. going around clockwise. They're, yeah, they're moving clockwise. All right. Um, well, I'll time it like double dutch, and like when I feel <laughs> like I'm going to be able to like kind of run in unseen between them and these two that are on patrol yeah. to get up the back of this house without being seen. That's what I'm okay. going to do, but I'm going to be trying to blend into the shadows, stay close to the ground and then close to the side of the hut. Okay. Yeah, give us a give us a stealth roll. And I, I think rain. Bill would be in contact via message, so Morley could talk to him as, as I, he learns yeah, what Yeah, that he sounds learns. good. Middle gear Morley. Oh, pretty good. That's a 30 all up <laughs> oh plus my one. God. <laughs> oh, plus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God yeah, damn. Um, yeah. So you've only got a plus 12, was it? Yeah, pretty weak. <laughs> Still. Wow. Um, so you time it uh, as these guards sort of move past and are on their way over to the, the second house. Um, and yeah, you are just, you're fast and you, you've been keeping an eye out for the sort of head movements and eye movements you're really paying attention in every way that you can and you manage to dart through and get into the back of that house um the, is there uh, any puddle sounds it's very is splashing it's puddle ve there's a lot of rain and it's very wet the grass is wet i don't know if i oh mentioned that forget about it i imagine <laughs> you're so good that you're going between the raindrops. <laughs> yeah. You get to the house dry as a bone. Uh, <laughs> Not for long. Um, yeah. So the, the way that these houses are sort of built into the, this hill as well is that uh, the back of them is, uh, by standing on the grass near the back of the house, you're actually near the very top of the roof as well. Uh, and you're aware now of a lot of sounds coming from behind you. Um, and all it would take possibly at this point is for um, 
uh, any if, if there was any indication of someone uh, needing to look over in your direction, they would likely see you. Um, give me an investigation roll for for what you're seeing with this the back of this hovel. This is pretty important, and it might seem weird to you all, but I'm going to use my inspiration for this investigation roll. Yeah, good. Okay. It's like a a builder's check. <laughs> yeah, okay. so I'll be there next Wednesday, and it'll cost $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you show us. Very poor. <laughs> Yeah, all of a, a sudden, Wally's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Uh, He's still not there. Yeah. I've right. made a hash of this hovel. <laughs> yeah, he starts critiquing who made the hovel. Like, oh, they really shouldn't have done it that way. It's a I seventeen plus five. Okay, great. Twenty-two is perfect. There, the um, right. a bit of the wood around the outs- outside of the uh, the stonework for this chimney at the back. Uh, there is right up near the roof, which is thankfully really close to where you are there is a gap and you can sort of see into uh the roof cavity from here from just from the angle you're at um but the, you have no reason to believe that you wouldn't be able to take a good look through if you um manage to just get a get a little bit of a, a foothold and climb up well uh, i'm not not gonna do it okay. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try and spy sous vide in there, mm-hmm. hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me uh, an athletics roll, please. Oh, my God. So roll heavy. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an Wait, 11 plus 8 for, for 19. What is this? Oh, D&D or goodness. something? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, with a... With a roll of nineteen, yeah, you, you manage you manage to find uh, handholds, climb up, and you now see down into this hovel, and you can see Savid um, sitting at a desk writing. Right. Um, Bill's messaging, and he's like, uh, "Morley, what do you see? No, wait, how does he get Morley? A hey, Morley, what do you see? No, I can't get it. He is a cockney, isn't he? Uh, what does he uh, say? Uh, Morley." Uh, what's happening uh, here, Molly? Uh, uh, I can't Molly, do it. Uh, Molly, uh, what do you say through that gap, Molly? No, wait, it'd be more like, uh, hey, Molly, uh, just checking oh, yeah. in. See, <laughs> yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. a telegram. Just wondering, <laughs> just wondering um, how's it going over there? Uh, get back to me when you can. <laughs> the the yeah. target has been acquired. By which I mean I've seen Sufi. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So Bill obviously relaying this to both American and uh, the Baron. Is there anything that American and the Baron are wanting to do during during this? Are we are we just keeping keeping know. out of this at the uh, back of the tree line, just staying safe, staying quiet? I'm feeling ill at ease that we've sent them all the in. Tell him to come back, Bill. This is what, <laughs> this is what he's good at. He's He's a pro. Yes, of course. I'm not saying I doubt Molly. I could barely see him the minute he slipped out of our carriage. No. I don't just think we should be reunited. Yeah, you are both very aware that there is a camp of 30 to 40 uh, Vistani and Dusk Elves sort of, that he has now infiltrated himself into. Well, the outskirts of it, but still. He's become one of the Vistani. He, <laughs> he should do it. He'll be lining up with the Dusk Elves. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be lining up. Yeah. yeah. What? Zip. Um, so yeah, Morley, what you're seeing Morley. is is in just with a by candlelight because it is getting pretty dark at the mo- at this point. Um, mm, good. He's he's sitting at his desk writing something. Enhance. What is it? Writing. <laughs> yes. Is it I have my night vision goggles and zoom in. S- spyglass. <laughs> <laughs> Yar. What we what we raising, Sylvie? You must have one. Yeah. Yeah. Someone else. Um, does it look like I can whisper a little message to Sylvie from here? Like, you could definitely try. Is anyone else in there with Sylvie? No, no. It is. It is just okay. him. The door is shut. It doesn't. Just like um. Uh, Casimir's hovel there's, there's no sort of internal walls there's just curtains and stuff that have been put up so you can't see the front door yeah. from, from your position 
But all you can see in the main area is uh, sous vide. Sous vide. Fuck. All right. <laughs> well, it's sous vide down, down beneath me now. Um, I just want to take a moment to make sure that my, my black cloak is kind of covering me and I'm really low profile to the roof. Okay. And so it would be really hard to, to spot me. I yes. think we could all agree on that. Yeah, yeah. with a roll of that thir- 31. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, you drop down and snap his neck. I'm going to whisper. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> kill, I kill him immediately. I put my crossbow through. <laughs> Gets back to the group. I did it. I killed him. Helvan Richten sous vide is dead, just as like he wanted. <laughs> um, I'm going to whisper through the so, gap. Sous vide. Sous vide. And sous vide sort of like stops. Look drop, up. Drops what he's writing with and he's looking around the... Um, his little hovel and he looks over to the where he's hearing the sound and looks up and he can just see in the darkness and the cr- just in, just off to the side of the corner of where the chimney and the roof meets he can just see like your f- just a chunk of your face looking through and he's not quite sure who it is and he stands up and he's Morley like, it's Morley Morley what are you what are you doing Morley who? what are you what are you doing it's it's a big night, Savid. I need you to listen to me and do exactly as I say. You don't ask any questions and trust me implicitly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Do you remember how we saved your life? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, uh, no, absolutely. Is, is, is Casimir okay? And his sister. Yeah, he's okay. And just as you see, just an enormous smile. Um... What, like appear on his face I knew you could do it he feels okay it's the main <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe I can't believe he did it and he got his sister back after well, all this we, time yeah we I mean we all did it but he was certainly a part of it <laughs> and he makes his way across the room closer to you what are you doing Morley what is, what is do you need we me need... to find a way to bring him back in what is what's happening oh so I'm going to say a few things, and you're going to want to ask questions, but you really, you really must just ask the ones that are absolutely critical, because we haven't got much time. Right, step one, we need you to go up to the Vistani camp, make an excuse, think of something, and we need you to assess two bits of information for us. One, the whereabouts of Lavash. Two, how many Vistani there are, and what they're up to. Then I need you to come back here. Then I need you to get rid of your man on the front. All right? Get rid of him. No, no, just don't get, don't kill him or anything, but just, you know, send him <laughs> off to get a pack of biscuits from the shop or something like that. T- t- <laughs> tell him tell him to meet us um, on the outskirts if possible. Do you think that's a good idea or no? That way we can talk freely amongst the group with him. I would say no, because then he's got to get back there to then round up the, to kind of start liberating the Dusk Elves. So I think we should keep him up at the, the mound. Well, I can, I can, I can help you out for a minute here. Savid um, does respond with, "Things are on uh, high alert. Things have been on high alert since um, Aragal died. Uh, there's no way I'm God allowed. Rest the, uh, no one's coming and going from here. Uh, not until, well, not until you lot are dealt with. Unfortunately. Uh, well, that's fine because what we need you to do is go up to the camp." Come back down to this house. Uh, then you're going to have to relay that information, probably to me. What we're going to do then? You, you look like you want to say something. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> he's, okay. he's just said he's going to be murdered, didn't he, if he goes up there? Did he? No, he, he basically, basically, people aren't allowed to come and go from the camp. Uh, yeah. So like, he'd be able to go up and definitely scout some stuff and come back to his yeah. hovel, but... Everything's on high alert at the moment. Um, oh. Just a question: Would Bill be able to message Suvide? Uh I think he's probably further yeah. away. Th- um, okay, well, let me measure it. Well, let's, uh, I'm just trying to think if it was something that needs to be eighty-five feet away, ninety-five feet away from Bill. Uh, and the range is what? The range is 120 feet. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying so to see if you need to... You point your finger toward a creature within range. So I think he needs to be able to 
like point his finger at the character or creature. Oh, it's, it, it's, you don't have to see it. Yeah, but he has to point at it though. It's not just. But he knows where sous vide is because Morley has told him where he is. Yeah, he's done it in castles and crap. So I guess what the okay, the plan sure. Would I be. mean, like, what do you, what do you need Bill to be talking to Savita about? So we're going to get Savita to go up there and assess those two things. Mm. Then if Savita comes back to the hut, trades places with his man outside. So Savita's now outside the hut, kind of mm. standing guard. Um, Savita's <coughs> then going to relay that information to me or to Bill. To be honest, I could then make my way back to the mm. to the group if I if I needed to. But then we've got a, we've opened up a line of communication with with Savita, right? So then we can basically ask Suvid for some more help. He can go and start rounding up the dust skulls just as kind of we're planning to launch the the distraction. So then we can get in. Lavosh, get out. Um, Is that Morley, have you told him that we're going to free all the dusk elves tonight? Not, not in so many words. I'm trying to keep him calm. <laughs> well, you know, we need, it, we plan, need to find a stage. place to talk to him mm. and we need to find a way because it, it might be a hard sell you know they're not physically strong they've been dominated for a long time and it yeah. might be very difficult to convince them to risk their lives for our cause and um i think there probably needs to be some sort of speech along the way from someone because uh, yeah. if I was like them I probably wouldn't just like be like in the middle of the night just up to like start a rebellion without mm. feeling confident that we could win thoughts yeah, that's true but we do have a reputation I just wonder if if you ask Suvid if he's on board and if not we can uh, have a chat about it and we want to know if the others would be on board you know yeah. they know that Castamere is alive and and if not we can I guess them. we need the Dusk Elves um, to be simultaneously like well no they need to be making a break for the woods towards us at the same time that Esmeralda is causing a distraction in the opposite direction so the Vistani are preoccupied one way the Dusk Elves are going to slip out the back and they're fighting for their independence really mm. so perhaps we could give them a stirring speech that perhaps encapsulates that you know this is such a big day to regain their independence day independence day <laughs> <laughs> we can call it independence yeah. day it'd be great yeah um this is yeah. your independence just day. just as a just as a um a, as a thing to remind you all of the dusk elves uh, that you've seen guarding these hovels or as part of the group that are uh, sort of uh keeping scout keeping an eye out um they've all got spears on them they've all they're all holding spears that seems to be their uh, weapon of choice or the weapons that have been maybe gifted to them from the Vistani. Uh -huh. um, Molly, can I get a, a perception roll from you? Yep. It's another it's another screamer. That's um, great. <laughs> yeah, 19 all up. You're doing a lot of good rolls now that you're out of combat. This is fan fantastic. <laughs> this is my jam. I'm not Don't a forget to... Yeah. Um, his modifiers are so great. Yeah, they Don't really forget are. to say what your modifiers are, which is uh, awesome. I couldn't actually see the general roll because of the UI, um, so I only know the modifier, which oh, is right. uh, 9 plus 9. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it must have had an 8. Uh, 9 plus 8 would be 17. You rolled a 19, so uh, even better than that. So um, what you see, it's very dark inside that hovel, but um, now that Savid has come closer to you, you're noticing that there's a... There's black and bluing to his to his face. Um, it looks like he has been beaten in some format, uh, and you're you're uh, reminded of the time that you the, of the first time you appeared here, and one of the dusk elves was being being whipped as 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 penance for something. Was that a dusk elf that was being whipped? I believe so. Yeah. Oh, Savid, what's happened to you? You look like you've been through the wars, man. Uh, we we can talk about that um, soon. I, I hope we get a chance. Uh, you want me to go go up into the, the camp and give you Vash's whereabouts? I can already give you a, a head count. Uh, for Okay. There's uh, about 32 uh, Vistani oh, here at this point. Uh, there's a okay. Half, most of them are, are, are fighting fit. There's a few old that probably... Uh, we'll be keeping to themselves right now. 
And then there's only one or two youngins. Have um, they been drinking? No, not no. They haven't. They haven't been drinking. They um, because everything is on such high alert at the moment. Since uh, Molly Strad delivered Aragal's body to the camp, <gasps> he informed them of who had done this. The whole camp is a. Uh, is waiting for you to try and come back. They think that you'll be trying to take out the rest of them. No. Especially with we, <laughs> especially with Casimir gone. We would never do that. Um. <laughs> Why? Retribution I... doesn't live in my heart, Suvid. I'm disappointed <laughs> in you. I'm leaving now. <laughs> You've offended me. Yeah. Yeah. I understand the gravity of the situation, Savid, but it's not safe here for us, no. But it's not safe here for you, either. Something big's going to go down tonight, and you're going to have to follow your instincts, and you're going to have to fight for your independence. <laughs> um, okay, that's, that, sounds, that sounds very exciting. Uh, it is exciting. It sounds terrifying as well. Yeah. It is. It um, is terrifying. And there's, a, there's like a knock on, on the door. And you can hear a voice sort of asking if everything is okay. Uh, and, and Savid is just like... It's just sort of carolers. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's carolers at the chimney. <laughs> at the chimney crack. Um, uh, everything, yes, everything's, everything's okay. Everything's fine. Um, Tell him you're praying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just praying in here. <laughs> Oh God! He <laughs> says, "Morley, Morley, I've already, yeah. I've had some." I'm an atheist. <laughs> what? what? He, just, he just said he's an atheist. So it's like his whole story is being thrown, and the other person's going to be suspicious. Um, he says, "Morley, I've, I've, I had some suspicions that, obviously, with Casimir leaving, uh, with the death of Aragal, I knew that." Maybe there was some connection with you. And I thought that maybe this was Casimir's way of trying to, trying to help us, help us Dusk Elves get out. And I've started sowing the seeds with some of the, uh, not those seeds, don't, not in the woods. No, I don't. Oh, it didn't cross my mind for a second, Suvi. That's no, disgusting. I wasn't even thinking you about it. Now. Mind, Suvi. Grow up, Suvi. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We're leaving you here to die. This was such an inspiring speech to me. You had to ruin it with your... <laughs> We're jerking off in the woods. Some <laughs> uh, wild oats. Uh, and you've been sowing the seeds. Um, yeah. Fellow few. And I think I have some of them... Uh, I think I've persuaded some of them in regards Primed to... for revolution. Well, I know a lot of them, they've all been told that if they see any of you to, to kill without... Without, without any holding back. But I know, I've, I've, I've tried to speak with them and I know I've been able to persuade some of them. But I don't think they're all bought on. This is very awkward talking to a crack in my wall. But, uh, I think, I think you might be able to, I think some of them will be on our sides and some of them might not be. They believe, the Vistani have made them believe that there is nothing but death and, uh, and hell waiting for them outside of this camp. And some of them believe this. Well, you tell them. If you get a chance to speak in the quiet of the night before we make our move, you tell them that on the other, other side is Petrina, back from the dead. And you tell them that Casimir is here, free, free as daylight itself. Um, and he's, he's feeling very inspired by this. He's, Morley, I've already tr I've tried. I think... If there's any way... No, but tonight's the night, you know, and it's the kind of like, this is the moment kind of thing. Like, you want to be stirring up excitement. You'll know. You'll know when it's the time, Suvi. You'll know. And Morley. they'll know, too. They'll fail us in there. But I'm sorry, I'm getting a call on the other line. Hello? Morley, can you hear me? Yes. Me, Bill. Hey. Oh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and me, Bill. That's me, Bill. Yeah. I'm That's sorry I've just been on the line the whole time. <laughs> sorry, did I catch you at a bad moment? So and I'm like, Bill, get... Bill, tell them I'm here. I'm here, Bill. <laughs> you have anything to say, Brian? American's here. Yeah. Tell, well, them, tell them. I thought she would be. Brian's here. <laughs> yeah, I assume you're all there. 
We <laughs> we are here. Yeah. Good. I was just thinking, why don't you give them? Uh, why don't you give sous vide sim- a symbol that he can show the other dusk elves that uh, you know someone's contacted you from the outside that's gonna come in and free you, you know, like a big like a fancy coin or a, um, <laughs> like a, well, a ring like or thing that I would have needed to have your hat. earlier. Or your hat through the crack. <laughs> just oh, okay. no, this, is, this is this is not going too great, is it? Hang on, hang on. Or something, you know, because then you can show the other elves and say, "Look, look, I've been contacted, and it's a good <gasps> sign." Tell them to look up, and when they see purple, they know change is in the air. Purple is like flashing overhead, like this purple whole time. Rain. It's it's sort of yeah, like how we exactly. can't. We can't stop Van Richten from being a racist just from one persuasive, like mm. pithy sound bite. You mm-hmm. know, and like these are these are uh, sort of enslaved people who have been indoctrinated to some extent. We might need something more than a pet talk. And you know, Savid, sometimes maybe... I think you want us to fail. <laughs> Savid re- restates the um, that the whole camp is is on this high alert, um, hmm. and if he even uh, if I'm spotted going around, if I'm spotted. I mean, look at me. If they think that even for a minute, oh, I'm in on this, they'll have me killed. All it <gasps> takes is for me to to be spotted by either of Astani, or one of my own who isn't quite on the same page as me, and I'm done for. Well, Suvi, that's you're gonna have to look inside yourself and ask yourself if tonight is the night that you're prepared to risk it all. No, risk he's it all not. For the greatest liberation. Um, and uh, give me a persuasion roll. Savid's gonna die because of us. No, 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 no. Not tender Savid. To, I'm not ready to make to that die sacrifice. On Killed by grass. one of his own brethren. And yeah, okay. in the wet, wet grass <laughs> on the wet, wet dirt. <laughs> his last it's moments a, with a wet face and it's a t- it's a two. But I've got a how what? have I got a sixteen? You got a sixteen. It was a ten plus what? A two it says a two plus six, but equals sixteen? But it says one d twenty min ten. What's oh, you a didn't. Min 10? I don't. Yeah, I don't know what kind of roll that is. Is that like a some kind of, of oh, minimum of did? What did you roll? That was weird. Why what do you have oh. minimum? Of no, ten? it's my it's my fucking it's my fucking thing from fucking <laughs> from <laughs> fucking book level. Oh, you can only what is roll. It? You can minimum of a ten. Oh. That's great. Yeah. The what? All the things I'm proficient in. That's great. Okay, oh, that's it's a special amazing. skill. That is a yeah. weird. You can not get it's less what, than a ten. Level eleven. So two plus six does equal sixteen. That's great. Um, yeah. With a roll amazing. of sixteen, you've you've persuaded, um, you've persuaded Savid. He says, "Okay, I'll go up. I'll see Will of Ashes. I'll come back. I'll let you know." And that's that's all you need to do for now. That's it. Oh, you don't want me to can. then go off. That's it. Just come back with Lavash. Well, co- don't come back with Lavash. Just is come it, back with that information. And then we need you to stand outside. So just change places with your man out the front, and then you'll hear a voice in your head, and that'll be Bill. And then we'll tell you what to do next. So very non-suspicious. I'll do my best. You're going up to the camp, coming back to your hut. No problem. Has to use the bathroom or something. <laughs> <laughs> he Has to um, tickle a horse. <laughs> what? What was that? Tickle one? a horse. Just say I want to tickle a horse. Oh yeah, I want to tickle yeah. that horse. <laughs> <laughs> he um he makes his way across the room. He he pushes past the curtain, opens the door, uh, and there's like a some a conversation between him and the dusk elf. Um, and you hear something about oh, he's just he's just going to head up to camp to grab some some food. Um, cool. And, and you see him sort of circle around, uh, and head up the hell um and he's looking he's looking sort of it all over the place but he's trying to let's let's roll let's roll for Savid to see how um chill he's looking how if he's looking suspicious at all he has rolled a nat one uh he is he is sweating bullets but thankfully being hidden by the rain at this point because it is wet it is wet and the rain is oh. very wet um, oh, he does the sweating in the rain. <laughs> He's he is sweating hard though, and um, you can see his hands are shaking at his sides as he sort of moves past you and, and up the hill. Uh, and he's looking around very erratically. He's looking at all the different hovels. He's looking at the the guards that are making their way around 
uh, circumventing the top of this hill. Um, and he moves into uh, the camp past the wagons um, and just quickly sort of really quickly heads into the, uh, the tent at the top of the hill. You sort of lose sight from him for a minute and he, he uh, quickly sort of moves back out and he's got like a, a small plate of food that he's now uh, eating from and it's kind of like shaking in his hand it's just filling up with water as well which is he's not really keeping a good eye on it and he's just he, he takes a few steps over to the left hand side of the uh, camp and looks about um, and he takes a look around to the right and, and sort of looks around a bit more um, and uh, you hear you hear kind of this yelling uh, this voice yelling at him to get back getting back to his um, back to his hovel and you just see some shapes but one of the uh, 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 human shape moves up to him and just slaps the food down out of his hands uh, onto the ground um, and Savid sort of quickly just takes a step back uh, and and quickly makes his way back down the hill it has not been an effortless uh, stealthy run here he has been spotted he was being very strange he was being very obvious, um, but he has... I'm surprised he tried to steal some food. It wasn't that he... he like, it's it's the camp's food. Uh, it seemed like it was okay to just go and get food, but whoever... Oh, they can go get food. Yeah, whoever saw him... Like, they're not starving them to death, um, but whoever saw them him eating was obviously not happy with him. Um, and Savid heads back, uh, and then there's another conversation with this this dusk elf outside the front um and you can't hear too much of what's what's happening uh but i'm gonna roll a another roll for savid uh this time um it is going to be a persuasion roll you would not believe that he rolled a critical failure again another one. Oh wow who did savid I've rolled with, um, uh, I automatically roll two dice at a time with roll 20. He has rolled, for that first one, he rolled a one and a one. And for this one, he rolled a one and a one. He has rolled four ones oh my in goodness. a row. That's a good sign. <laughs> Get them all out now. <laughs> um, the Dusk Elf, there's like some, one and a one. the conversation with the Dusk Elf is kind of, it's not heating up, but it, it doesn't seem to be going too well. Um, and, and the, you hear the door creak open and the curtain get pushed past and, uh, you look into the room again and see Savid, uh, drenched with water, not looking too happy. Uh, and he looks up at the crack in the wall and he says, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I got, I got Luvash's, uh, whereabouts, but I, I couldn't convince, uh, the guard out front to swap places with me. He thinks it would be too suspicious. Well, you tried your best, Suvid, and that's all we can ask. And I'm glad you're safe, my friend. Where is Lavash? Uh, Lavash is... Uh, do you remember the, the wagon with the, with the treasures? Oh, only too well. Well, that is, that is Lavash's wagon. Uh, it's where... Um, is it? It's where his daughter, Arabelle, sleeps. Uh, so he was there with Arabelle. Oh... Thought she might have been at summer school or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you, thank you, Savit. You've done you've done amazing work. Uh, I'm gonna message Bill now and go. We know where Lavash is, but we cannot make contact with Savit. He is confined to the hovel. Um, quickly though, the guard the guard out front. Uh, he's happy you're here. He just he just didn't. He well, just, he's he not just, making our lives any easier, is he? He just thought it would be too suspicious to swap places. Okay. All right. That's good. Looks like we've got an ally out front, Bill. But uh, we won't be able to talk to Savid, so... Uh, can you relay that to the rest of the party? We know where Lavash is. We've got an ally out front. Where to from here? Um, and Savid just comes to, like, thinks about something for a minute. He's like, uh, one second, Molly. And he pushes past the curtain again, knocks on the door. The door opens up. And him and the guard chat again for a little bit. Um, and there's there's some real hesitance in the conversation. And then you just hear straight up begging coming from, from Zavid. Um, 
and there's a pause, a sigh, and Savid comes back to you. Uh, if if you can all get to this this building, the guard will let you in. Wow, that's amazing, Suvid. Great work. Stay stay put, stay tight. It's gonna be a big night, but you may not hear from me again in the next you know minute or two. I'm gonna be getting back to the. <laughs> you know, I made it sound like Ever I was again. gonna die there, but uh, I'm uh, hopefully not. Uh, I'm gonna okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna be heading back to back to the group now. But we'll see you soon. Great work. All right, Molly's gonna try and shimmy his way back through the night, back through to the to the party in the woods now. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll use that same stealth roll from before, since it was so good. Generous. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, Morley basically can't fail with that modifier. I know, I know, I know. Oh, God, that was intense. There, you should have seen him. He was a sorry <gasps> state. Where did you come from, Morley? I did not even see you. <gasps> you came in such a fright. Bill has been updating us. It's concerning. Yeah, it's it is very concerning. concerning. It's very dark what's happening up there, American. Things will not be as easy as we had hoped, I fear. No. No, if you're not. Hmm. Well, it is only natural that of people that have been subjugated for so long, they live their lives in fear. They may not have the confidence to risk at all. They may not want to lay down their lives on a night like this. Perhaps we should take the burden upon ourselves and not try to convince them to fight, but simply do Murdered it all of the Vistani. <laughs> exactly. I was trying to say no, 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 no. Um, but maybe, maybe it does fall on us to inspire the confidence by doing the deeds that they themselves may lack the courage to. We never wanted them to fight, though. We wanted them to. But what do you mean? The cover of darkness. Yeah, but if they're they're even too scared to run away because there are people within their ranks that are so mm. fearful, and they've lived under dom under domination for so long that they would sell out their own people. That's the fear, right? Yep. <laughs> so what, what are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying. What are the deeds we should do? <laughs> well. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, that's the question, isn't it? But do we do we still want to try to convince them to... I just feel like we might be setting them up for failure. I mean, imagine if sous -vide ran around to try and, like, tell them that they're all rising up and someone stabs them in the belly. Imagine that! That would be rude. They have that's lived a for a long time. He's told us they've had a good run. Look, they've had a good like, run. No, I mean, <laughs> they've lived a long time together. Someone uh, correct me if I'm that, wrong. Yeah. But did he not imply that some of his um, fellow Dusk Elves would not let a rebellion stand? I will say That's that. That's exactly. Um, he, he insinuated he hasn't been able to persuade them. That's all he said, that he hasn't been able to persuade them. He didn't I mean, say he was going to get stabbed through. in the belly. But I wouldn't put it past them. I just meant that they live together for a long time, so hopefully they don't. They would rather like uh, rat them out than just stab them themselves. Personally, I don't feel comfortable leaving things to chance. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the game. That's the whole game. <laughs> I I'm think we should name. manage what? the risks. What? Okay. How about this? We we need, to, if we're going to persuade them, or as you say, ourselves, we almost need to just yell it out. Yeah, and maybe forget we... about all this runaway stuff and say, any Dusk Elves that wants to come with us, cross this line and... Any of the Stani that tries. What's out of the line for? We're going to die. Any of the Stani that crosses this line will chop their heads off. This isn't a, a picket protest outside the Wheatbix factory. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to come and kill us. I'd like to see them I know, but we'll kill them. 
I thought the whole point of this was that we wanted to stealthily yeah. accomplish this. Mm. We do, we do. We do, but, but I don't know seems... how the stealth is going to work. How about we stealthily kill Lavash first, and then we that is the sign that, hey, guys, mm. their leader's been killed. Now's your chance to come to our side. <gasps> if you want to stay here, do it. You're going to be free coming with us. How about that? So we try and do that stealthily, and then we let ourselves be known. So maybe Ismay could create the the kind of the chaos, right, of like riding through on a horse, and that could be our... We could then attack from the rear flank and take out Lavosh. I Do that stealthy. I would just say, like, he's he's. you know where he is now. Right. Go oh, up so there. Sneak up and... Put a rope around his head, pull him out, pull him out of his uh, bunk. Show him. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. and then uh, drop his head off. So we stealthily get get all of us into camp, pull him out of his bunk, and chop his head off. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We 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 did have a plan, but it's all just like, mm, we don't know what to do now. It's a tough one. Look, well, it is a tough like, one. There's a lot at stake in this camp. Maybe, how about each of us pitches what we see as being mm. the thing, and then we find a middle ground. Okay. Because okay. I I think um, we could become an inspiring symbol of hope by creating a big ruckus and and potentially, you know, creating a lot of um, damage to the Vistani if need be to, like, inspire confidence in the rebellion. Instead of skulking in the shadows the whole time, like, you know, heroes make a big, bold entrance, right? Depends on the saying. Depends on the situation, I guess. Sometimes. But, so by all means, you could yeah. totally uh, uh, make a big entrance and get all of the, even if you got all of the Dusk Elves on your side, if that, if that happened to be the case, uh, you're also going to alert all of the Vistani, all 30-odd of yeah. the Vistani, and is the, you know, do you want the Dusk Elves to survive or fight the, no. for their lives? Or, no, I don't um, want them to survive. Just run and leave you guys there to fight? Like, so there's a lot of things you got to think about here. <laughs> do we want them to survive is our first question. I vote yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. It's unanimous on that. Okay, surely. that's a good place to be starting. I mm. think Bill would say no. I think his character would say no. I, would I think no. Bill would feel threatened by Savid and his good looks and be like, I actually don't want him around. <laughs> Van, Richten and, in Barovia. <laughs> Van Richten and Casimir's sister just pop up and go, just kill him all, just kill him all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so oh, we didn't even see you come in. He's going to even get a stealth than me. <laughs> I've got the tiger. Should I unleash it? I've got it right here. I've got it right here. Right here. I've been starving it for days. <laughs> okay, here's a, here's a mid ground for like something that could be um, like we could stealthily creep up and then use an area of effect spell that will sow confusion within the Vistani, and and that way we don't mm-hmm. reveal ourselves yet. Well, doesn't does Bill still have silence? Who had silence? Bill did. I'm I don't trying know to think. Like maybe he's doing. I don't know if Bill still has that. I think he's I don't think he swaps out his stuff, right? I'd say that Bill would pros- sleep, probably sleep would be good. Well, I have prepared a spell yeah, today called Confusion. Oh yeah. Well, I guess yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, if Bill was I'm just going to try and think for Bill for a minute here. Um with with the Baron's idea of sneaking up where uh, Luvash sleeps, you know, putting a cone of silence over the area while you do what you do just Ooh. in case just in case it's a great idea bill that's a great <laughs> yeah. idea bill Thought oh my that. god yeah. bill you're so smart <laughs> i could i could get uh, a thorn whip to, to lasso him i wonder if his does his little hut have windows i could try and thorn whip him out the window uh, <laughs> like lasso you? the the guy yeah, yeah. pull yeah. him out the window in a way pull him out the window absolutely <laughs> It's going to be the forest, but the window will do. <laughs> uh, the wagons don't have, like... Uh, they've got wagons, but uh, they've got windows, sorry. But they're probably not wide enough to pull a human body through. Right. And the problem is his daughter is there, so it's like... Oh. I really didn't like hearing that. This is bad. 
Well, here's the thing. I think he's a bad influence. And <laughs> <laughs> I, so my thinking is we got to get Luvash, right? We're going to do it. And these guys have been tormenting these poor Dusk Elves for decades. I don't feel that sorry for them. But we need to tell them. We, once we go get Lavash, let's say we do, and we've got his head on a stick, we Is say... <laughs> <laughs> we then go say, on. we're taking the Dusk Elves with us. Any Dusk Elf that wants to come with us is safe. If you try and attack us, we will put your head on a stick. If you <laughs> like don't it. try and attack us, you are also safe. You just don't have Dusk Elves anymore. Happy? <laughs> and if they're trying to attack that us... You walk into the Vistani camp and say... No, no, from a distance. We've got the, oh. the head on a stick already. We're down the <laughs> Again, hill. Again, I can't remember this bit coming into it. <laughs> <laughs> it was Bill's idea. <laughs> wow. yeah. Classic Bill. Kind of silence, hit on a stick. I, suggest it. I do <laughs> like that when I asked if you guys had discussed the plan, you guys were all like, yes, we certainly well, we have. Did. We, we, have we did. We did. It was not like this. We didn't <laughs> anticipate you know, that all of the uh, Dusk Elves were like, yeah, we, some of them don't want to leave. It's good, too scared, you know. It makes sense, but I didn't think about it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, but we can only try, right? You can like, always try and persuade them. futile to try and, like understand every possible permutation this isn't mm. nathan field as the rehearsal okay <laughs> yeah thank Ooh, you contemporary <laughs> finally too contemporary what, get what, out what was the what, what was the reverend <laughs> it's too uh, modern it's for you, sorry. on tv this year you wouldn't you wouldn't know you maidens wouldn't. field that's it maidens this isn't maidens field <laughs> nathan fielder <laughs> the rehearsal Nathan? No, you let's lost move, me. Yeah, let's move forward. Um, so, yeah, so obviously Lavash has, uh, not Lavash, Savid has tried to, he didn't really know what was going on. What what you got from what he was telling Morley is that he was convinced that all these things that were in play, Casimir's disappearance, um, and then obviously Aragal being delivered dead, he knew it had something to do with you lot, and it was could only be something positive, and that it should mean a positive thing should you guys return um he has spoken to some people about that some of them don't believe it they just have written you off as as murderers that casimir is probably dead somewhere that you know and the others are absolutely believing in savid um it's it's like if you're wanting to know what people are going to be thinking if it's going to require uh some persuasion i think going around and talking to these guys trying yeah. to persuade them and I'm like, what could be more boring than creeping around doing a bunch of stealth rolls and talking to each individual guard in turn and figuring out where they stand on the issue and trying to bring them around? And then what if it fails? Well, talking about and doing like, that, probably. They run off <laughs> and rat us out to the Vistani because they've had a change of heart. I don't know, just like, maybe we just need to be a bit more cool, you know? Well, I'm open to either one. We should just decide. Are we going to go with the yeah. head on stick or are we going to go around and talk to them? I'm happy with either one. I don't think we have to go full head on a stick. I just don't know where that idea keeps coming from, Brian. Well, I mean, I... At some point, he's going to get killed, right? By Van Richten or by us. So we can either terrorize them with his head or uh, just have him tied up. I don't know. I. Mm, it seems like there's a lot of... It seems like there's a lot of uncertainty on all of it right now there's like uh, you don't want to do this because it could be boring even if it is the right result uh versus we no, want to go in there and risky. we want to go in there and do something which could also be very risky as well uh there's i mean yeah. an ring about luvash's head on a stick versus what other <laughs> options uh, <laughs> yeah morley what, what's what should what, we get if morley yeah. was writing the plans for the group right now what would he be what would he be saying I literally did write the plan in <laughs> only plans today. Uh, okay. I'm still, I'm mm -hmm. still convinced that that's the right approach. Is the subterfuge? Okay. What do, What do we do next? I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh God. Well, okay. I, I, so let's go. So with this. I guess what? So let's assess where we're at right now, right? 
There's uh -huh. Suvide, who's given us Lavosh's location. So we need to accomplish two objectives. One, we need to take out Lavosh. Two, we need to free the Dusk Elves. Mm -hmm. do, do we all agree that those are the two things that we want to do tonight? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. American? Yes, I agree. Okay, okay. cool. So let's let's make a plan for taking out Lavosh. Do we want to do that the noisy way or the quiet way? I vote the quiet way. Quiet way. Quiet way. Okay. We're getting okay. somewhere. Then maybe we maybe we progress down that path first. Let's do and it. Like, mm -hmm. allow ourselves the luxury of like another player conversation when it comes time to kind of free the dust girls and how we do that. Yeah, when it's the stick conversation. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to stick time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I okay. So he, I'm not very stealthy. Are you are you okay with me sneaking up, or should I stay behind? I think we should provide we should, cover. We should continue together. Okay. Splitting up the party okay. constantly is adding another layer of difficulty, I think. Okay. All right. So this guy out the front of this hovel is not worried about us now. We can sneak up to that house, right? And then yeah. uh, probably use that house as a base if we manage to get in there unseen. Or just around the edge of it because we want to get up to... Is it this one that Lavosh is in? This, this one? So it's the one near his avatar, yeah. would be my guess. It's not one of the wagons. It's what? the hovels. I'm so confused. Give, What's happening? Lavosh. Oh, Lavosh. Sorry, th he's over here by the uh, wagons. Yeah. Uh, all right. So also, by his, where we need to sneak up. His to. young, his young innocent child. Yeah. Fast would asleep. they, would they know if you cast fog, and kind of it made it hard to see kind of the area that we were creeping up to Lavosh? So we could use fog and a cone of silence to kind of extract Lavosh. Would they think this fog is suspicious? I don't Probably. know if it looks like normal fog. Or it would like, look it like would, normal fog. It must look like normal fog. Yeah, but a, a, appearing out of nowhere might be a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, weather? I think, and especially they're already on high alert. I'm like, mm -hmm. they probably would figure that out. Or they'd think it was mm -hmm. their bestie Strad, and they'd be like, Strad's here. <laughs> Let's go yeah. see him. We're going to find it weird when he just starts levitating. No. Um, <laughs> okay. So if we, I, I, ooh, I can make him blind and deaf, like I was made. So you could make him blind yes. and deaf. Now just remember when oh, they happened to me, I deaf, went around sorry. screaming. Would <laughs> 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 give the game away. Give us a slightly. Oh, that's true. Okay. So we do have the distraction option. We could get Esmeralda involved and get her to ride, like, the other side of the camp to kind of cause a commotion. But then I guess Lavosh is going to be part of that, isn't he? Yeah, he'd be out in the front lines. Let's just see if we can stealth up to him. Put a bag over his head. Does Bill have silence? Uh, he does, in yes. In the bag? Yeah. <laughs> sure. A bag of holding. That okay. could be interesting. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and then, well, let's just do silence just around that area. Not inside the tent, because then they'll be like, I can't, my jokes aren't landing anymore. Why, why is no one talking to All me? Right. All right, let's, let's try and get the whole party up and inside this house, and then okay. we can kind of go from there. And if you want, I could go first using my stealth and kind of appear out of nowhere to this guard and kind of, you know, give him the... It's happening, comrade. Give him a special handshake, mm -hmm. and then open the door okay. for you guys. Okay. <laughs> special handshake, special handshake. <laughs> with my mouth. <laughs> that would disgust the lady. Okay. And his dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to remove all doubt. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, good. Yeah. This is good. Okay, great. Um, Morley, give us a stealth roll. Head through. It's a minimum of twenty-two you get, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I'm like really. You know what? Net, it's a net 20. Jesus, um, yeah, you get there. It's fine. It's, um, yeah. it's a 32 all up. <laughs> so you literally can't roll anything lower than a 10, is that right? For, for, for the things I'm proficient. Okay, yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, so what that's an like amazing ability. Minimum of 22. So you're good. You you get there, um, and the guard is almost... Uh, it wasn't expecting you, but he's not surprised to see you sort of appear next to him. And he looks around, and uh, he just gives like a double knock on the door reaches behind him and opens up the door and sort of just says, 
uh, motions for you to head inside. I, I want to message back to Bill. Yep. The pathway is clear. Repeat, the pathway is clear. Okay, cool. Uh, Bill uh, lets you guys all know that. Um, Baron, are you taking all of your skeletons with you? No. Okay, all right. Just, I, got to, I had to ask, had to ask. Yeah. Um, yep. If you're going to make your way up to the uh, hovel as well, I'll need a stealth roll from both um, the Baron and Mirican. I'm going to use my inspiration for this, which I have nice. not used for probably a year. So... <laughs> Yes, so go that, on. Yes. That's two net ones. <laughs> uh, thirteen plus two, fifteen, and a thirteen plus two for fifteen. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That's, <laughs> that's worth it. That's uh, that's enough. That's enough to get you there. Um, and again, you appear, you appear, sort of quietly in the dark in the shadows. You reach uh, the the guard, and he again double knock on the door, opens it up, motions you through. American, can I get a stealth from you too? I'm going to cast Guidance on myself, give myself a little uh, <clears throat> boost by massaging my legs thoroughly, <gasps> and then I'm going to roll like a 1, and I can add a 1 to it. I've rolled a 12, so I've rolled 9 plus 3, and then the extra 1 brings me to a 13. Okay, you, you're not as um, hidden as the rest of them. Uh, the guard spots you. <laughs> Um, maybe 30 feet, 40 feet out. Because I'm too sexy, of course. He is like, Stop whoa, 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 he's very, <laughs> like, <"Whoa."> <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> Can't hide these curves, I'm sorry. Um, and you, he sort of like quickly beckons, he's looking around like worried that others can see you and he beckons you over, knocks on the door, opens the door and just like pushes, gives you a big slap on, whoosh, on the ass as you pass oh. it <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No. One no. thing to be spotted, it's another to be objectified. <laughs> no, just this under is the like, uh... no. I take a dagger to his throat. <laughs> Please. Opens the door and, and rushes you through and quickly slams the door. And you'll find yourself within um, Savid's uh, hovel now um, with that wall of sort of curtains uh, hung and open waiting for you. And Savid, the internal of Savid's hovel is probably half as nice as Casimir's was and oh. Casimir's was not very nice at all from memory <laughs> Think there's like broken furniture and um, his his bed is is basically just a mound of uh, twigs Shit. and hay with, human with, with, feces. with makeshift blankets over the top shaming <laughs> um, he has we get it. he's got a grim existence he's got a very yeah. grim existence he's and understand. then now in the candlelight of his hovel you're seeing the black and blue sort of uh, beating that he's taken <gasps> as well and from there, we will take a five minute break. Mm. You wow. made it into his hovel. We made it like five meters. This is a record. Twice. <laughs> yeah. Twice. Twice. But from, from this point on, boom, boom, boom. We've got to get this Actually, done. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll definitely. Mm, this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's us. Oh, I've just been looking at my um can trips and i can use druid craft to instantly snuff out a small campfire that could come oh. in handy i thought you were going to say to clean his shitty room <laughs> i can use druid craft to instantly remove luvash's head from his body it's a very powerful oh, can trip Sorry? do what <laughs> now just with one can trip <laughs> good. Nice. yeah 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 all right I have got unseen servant, so I can clean Ooh. his room. <laughs> okay, nice. And I can make it smell good with druid craft, so that's good. I can like do a bit of Febreze in the in the makeover. Area. Oh, Febreze! That can be the second half of the. Um... <laughs> Was it extreme makeover yeah. hovel edition? Mm. Nice. We could do this into an Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of extreme come. Uh, yes, yeah, so this has been this has been slower than I thought it might be. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, That's I think okay. we overthink our plans a lot. I don't know, but you can't just yeah. It's hard to gain consensus when we all have different sort of ideas as well. It is. It is. I've, I, yeah. I've seen that a little bit uh, recently. Um, I think we had similar ideas. I thought it's you all agreed at the like coming we're into worried. Yeah. yeah, we're just worried that. Um, 
it will go badly and a lot of the dusk elves will be killed you know yeah. so it's like how how best to avoid that mm. is, mm. yeah our, our consensus was sort of like we'll inspire the dusk elves dusk elves and they'll all go along with us you can Step still do two. that you might <laughs> no, but no, I'm saying, but like we predicated the rest of our plan based on the idea that they will be able to like be relied on to like act with us. Um, yeah, like a resistance. As soon as like the a prospect of internal sabotage kind of came up within the dusk elves, for me, it was like, mm. whoa, 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 stop. This could ruin everything and result in dear sous vide getting killed. Well, the and dusk I'm not elves, about that. The dusk elves don't know what's true, what's happened outside of this camp. They know nothing, you know? They're just. Uh, going, they've, all they've heard is is Savid's uh, optimism, you know. Yeah, exactly. So we we sort of went in with the more optimistic view of what the outcome could mm. be, and so that's yeah. kind of that's what I was saying, in, like, our, in our plan. Give give like a sign that we're actually alive and here, you know. Pass around a a note or mm. something that says, mm. "Hey." Yeah. But like. Mm. Passing around a note isn't very inspirational. So a note with a really cool signature. Oh, I didn't think of that. That's <laughs> true. Sharpie. That's true. And I can make it smell good with druid craft. I'll be like, oh, this smells oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's one the, hell of a letter good. what's the aversion to instead of getting Savid to do it? What's the aversion of just doing it yourselves? Um well, just because for me, I was like it's very hard to stealth your way around an entire camp. I, I just feel like, you know, we can do so it. And, it, and it's been the same for Savid, though. Like he said, you know, it's it, there's, at least everyone's he, on he high alert. In. He's meant to be there at least, unlike True. us. And if we will get punched like... in the face, though. <laughs> but I think that's what we should do. After, if we can extract Lavosh, who everyone th will think is asleep, then we can go around. And talk to them, because mm. at least we've accomplished. We've got Lavosh. Yeah, that uh, could be like what we show goes... them. <laughs> That's the note. Maybe no be like the note is: look, we've got Lavosh here. <laughs> it's his He's head. not alive anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have his head on the stack. You can come and see it, and you're free. You're free now. You're free. Trust us. Look, we'll just we'll put the rest of the heads on the stick if we need to. I can levitate his body oh, around. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just for show. Is um I'm trying to like if if you are gonna be using silence, I just want to get some information on it, I guess, to whether it can be moved or if it's like just stays on the spot. Can created within or past the uh, point that you choose. Any creature object inside it is immune to thunder damage and I don't know that one. Uh but it makes sense. And creatures are deafened while entirely inside it. Uh, yeah, okay, so it can't be moved. It's just on the spot. Okay. You know how sometimes you can choose a uh, creature as the target? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't or you can move moved. it yeah. as an action on your yeah. next turn or something. Okay. But not this one. I think it's too low level. Is it like second level spell or something? Uh, I believe so. It is second level illusion spell, yeah. Illusion. Illusion. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's what I would say that we should do. We get Lavosh, try and as quietly as we can. And then we go and inspire them one by one. Mm. And we say on our signal, which is probably uh, involves Esmeralda on a horse, all the uh, Dusk Elves that want to come with us run to a certain spot. Well, the um, Vistani are distracted by Esmeralda on a horse. Does that sound reasonable? You, you look sceptical. No, no, I'm just like not sure what to do. I and think that's our safest Adam, bet. Without if we Adam here, yeah. I guess, talk. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Hello? What do you think about I'm that, Adam? very indecisive myself. Mm. What? I'm just like... I don't know. How's about this for a plan, Adam? Uh, we try and extract Lavosh like we're doing quietly. Mm. 
Yeah. We've got him in the bag tied up somewhere, maybe in that house that we're in. Oh, yeah. And then we go around in a clockwise fashion, persuading Dusk Elves as we go, and we tell them if they want to escape tonight, then when they see Esmeralda on a horse, run to the spot we tell them, you know, we say like run to the that bush over there or something. Back, we're back the, to the original this, plan <laughs> in the yeah. woods. It was the original plan. Right? <laughs> and yeah, because it's this... up, then we just start fucking fighting. But yeah, we but fight. The, we're on the front line, right? And the dusk elves. We're kind of providing a a barrier between us and the dusk elves. Yeah. Mm. And hopefully. Even if even the dusk elves that's uh, too hesitant, maybe they'll change their minds when they see all their friends escaping. A tipping yeah. point. Yeah, Malcolm Gladwell. We'll get. No, it's <laughs> not really <laughs> ring any bells with anyone. Sportsman. Okay, um, Sportsman's <laughs> bio is it? Um... No, author. Oh, okay. Can anyone see Adam? I, I can't see him at all. Oh, yeah, I can uh, see I Adam. I can, and he's talking. Adam always disappears for me about halfway through. So stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Is he I'll the guy that says like 10,000 hours or something? 10,000 hours to oh. become an expert. Yeah, is that talking about how long this campaign's taking, right? <laughs> 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 We're going to be an expert at Stride. Uh, I just want to thank Destructors for following Starting. us. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming in. Uh, and and uh, I noticed you've put it in a few of the um, commands as well just to see what's sort of going on. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. Um, should we just get back into it? Because I know that, Adam, we want to finish by like 10 on the dot tonight. So um, let's just jump back into it. Okay. Um, right. So point one. Extract Lavash. Point two. Kill Lavash, maybe? <laughs> Get a stick. Get a stick. Um, by the way, also, uh, Bill managed to get to the... <laughs> Bill managed Mitch, to get if to you the were like, oh, By the way, also, Bill was seen, and now they're on to you. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get back into it. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so you'll find yourself in front of um, Savid. The only one that isn't in the hovel with you guys at the moment is Esmeralda, waiting for her cue. Okay. Um, uh, Savid is, is, is happy to see um, all of you. Uh, uh, let me just bring his face up. Um, I can't. I can't believe that you're all here. Ah, oh, this is amazing. And he and he and he shakes uh, Morley's hand. Finally, and I obviously talking through that crack before shakes the Baron's hand and just gives Mirican uh, a big hug. Um, um, so happy to see. So happy. Oh, no, he's one of those hug guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have my hug? Mm. <laughs> Doesn't even ask. <laughs> just gives. Where's my hug? <laughs> he gives you a hug as well. He's hugging everyone now. How come you only put your hand on the lower back of American Super when you hugged us? That's weird. Why are you giving me hover hands, Sabine? <laughs> anyway, thanks for your work, Savid, for finding out where Lavosh is. Um, tell him our name. Baron, tell him our name. What? Our name. Oh, what? what's our name? The name you came up with, the anti oh, the anti Strad Squad. Yeah, tell him that. that he loves We're the anti Strad Squad now. That's it's very catchy. It's very catchy. <laughs> um, and what was the? the you? Yeah. Hmm. No, nothing. <laughs> what? On we go. What is it that you were uh, wanting with with Lavash? Death. So it, was, days tonight. so it was you that uh, took care of Aragal. Well, a, a funny story about that, actually. Not really. Um, <laughs> we tried to kill him, but we failed. Uh, he put a curse on me, uh, and then when the curse was lifted, uh, he died, presumably, of natural causes. That's... Uh, he must have been weakened from your fight. Uh, when a curse... When a Vistani curse is broken, they uh, suffer severe... 
severe psychological damage. That'll do it. You should have seen Father Lucian. He was sweating like a, <laughs> like a pig. <laughs> enough, en rain. enough small talk. We are here. Yes. We are yep. here now for you, Savid. And the rest. We're going to do something amazing on this night. Killed Lavash by the sounds of things. But more than that, Morley told you, didn't he? Yes, he, he, he talked to me about freeing the Dusk Elves. I, I, uh, that sounds amazing. I, I've, we've been here for God knows how long now. Uh, freedom, freedom is being just a distant thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the way you just went, freedom. Yeah, no, that's okay. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the it's, one. It's, uh, it's probably been unthinkable until now, but here's... American, do you, are you okay with the plan or you want to make adjustments? <laughs> no. Let us tarry no more. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up. We're going to quietly get Lavosh out of his wagon. Um, tie him up. Pull him down here. Maybe stuff him into this nice house you've got and then we'll go around talking to your kinfolk and tell them that if they want to be free tonight then meet us at the road to the northeast mm -hmm. when they hear or they see uh, Esmeralda riding around on a horse that's their signal to make their way unseen if they can to the northeast uh, yeah, yeah. We will protect them. He's not. He's sort of nodding away. Uh, how do you plan on getting up to where Lavash is? A uh, little bit of teamwork, quietly, <laughs> and with the help of a little bit of magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's, he's, I... All right. Well, my only question is: Do you believe in magic? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, okay. live in a magical, <laughs> they live in a magical world. Yeah. Magic. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a magic. Are we going to kill Lavosh to silence him, or are we going to bring him back alive? That's the question. I don't want to discuss this when we're in it. Mm. I'm happy to cut his tongue out so that he's <gasps> both silent and alive. I think he's we should just kill him. Yeah, yeah that's... Okay probably more humane really I'll cut off his balls and his tongue and I'll be <laughs> we be cutting off his balls we don't need to do that that bit's just for fun yeah I'll cut out his tongue and his eyeballs oh his eyeballs no, okay so, okay are we and gonna kill burn his ears off and then and that way he, he'll still be alive you so we're not the bad guys yeah. yeah 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 <laughs> we'll inject um, a small glass ch Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, so we kill him? Yeah. Just, it, so we, it's going to be in silence. I can, we can just, actually he's next to his kid. So we, we need to drag him out at least yeah. to get him far away and then all stab him to death or whatever your um, preferred method of killing uh, Lavosh. Well, what is let's everyone's go. preferred method of killing, by the way? Could I, uh, I think last time kindness <laughs> I, think we, I think we know this I don't know if you can confirm this or not Reagan. Okay. but I have sleep as I imagine that other people do as well but I think the Vistani are resistant to that that wouldn't work on them I think we tried to use that last time and it, it um, it's not that it didn't work but it affects those with the lowest HP first and I think uh, I can't remember who that affected it would be a, a horse wouldn't it yeah, I think it affected something before it affected any of the... And then it didn't have enough carried over in the dice roll to affect any of the Vistani. So it's a very... Uh, you'd have to roll very high to to affect some of these guys. Right. Okay. Well, we won't be putting them to sleep then. And then dragging them off. Those people are coming around. They're doing a clockwise uh, mm -hmm. motion. So should we move? Yeah, let's get to the other side of the wagon in silence. 
You might need some dusk elf help. So you okay. guys are all inside the building at the moment, right? So oh, you're, yeah, yeah. you're all inside the hovel at the moment. So it's not like this this group of uh, elves are going to see you just by doing their current r ro uh, routine. Should we wait for them to go past the game? Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, you guys we wait. wait 10 minutes. Yeah, you guys wait like 10 minutes Somewhere. just um, as, as the dusk elves slowly make their way around. Um, time has obviously passed while you've been doing this. Uh, you haven't been able to keep an eye on Luvash and what he's been up to, but there's, obviously he's up at the camp. Um, and his last known whereabouts was with Arabelle. Hmm. My unseen servant is cleaning his room and <laughs> doing his dishes and folding his clothes, etc. <laughs> okay, nice. It's, uh, it's looking very nice. I could nice. disguise myself. I've got disguised self. I could disguise myself as a Vistani. Generic Vistani one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen you before, buddy. Um, Hello, I am also a Vistani. <laughs> Let's not complicate this. <laughs> We're just going to sneak up and put a bag over his head or something and drag him out, all right? All right. Okay. All right, well, you guys wait for the guards to sort of move off and move a decent, um, sort of almost when they're at their furthest from your current point. Um, and you... And you exit the hovel and now you're looking up at the at the top of this hill with the, you can see three or four of the wagons and the tip of the tent behind it what's, I could, the, what's the plan i could wake up um oh is he asleep actually were we told he was asleep no so he, he, was, he, he was in his bunk he was just at the wagon with arabelle uh, okay well, I thought they were asleep oh, okay not oh. at this point at this point it's still like you guys got here just as uh uh, as uh was it dawn no dusk hat so uh it's probably only about 6 seven thirty at this point can we hit them with sleep uh so it just covers their area with those two you can definitely try yeah right. Bill, if, read us your sleep spell. Up, right? uh yeah it, it's like does a certain amount of hp and gets the lowest HP yeah, people yeah. first and, um, and if two people cast it no it doesn't uh, add stack. on top yeah it doesn't stack okay. well that would put the little girl to sleep and then we won't yeah. traumatise her by murdering her dad <laughs> in that, front of her if the worst yeah, happens that so that sounds great amazing yeah. idea I like it and then silence yeah Sleep. All right. Yes. Well, silence. if he's asleep, we probably don't need silence. All right. Well, at this point, you can't really see what's happening up there. If you want to know what's going up there, you're going to have to get closer. I'm going to get closer along this edge of this house. Yeah. Okay. Same. What about you guys? I also do the thing. <laughs> and Bill does as well. All right. So you're all sort of st stacked up at the back of this building, looking up at the hill. Um, Give me a uh, an investigation roll because it's still sort of quite high up. We're gonna get everyone. Just give me one investigation roll. Twenty-two all up. Nice. An eight plus zero. Okay, Morley and Baron. Uh, Eighteen. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome. So Morley and Baron, um, you've sort of pinpointed now. You're listening out through some of the sounds that you can hear up at the top, and you're sort of taking a look at and seeing if you can figure out just from memory which was the wagon full of uh, goodies and um, you recognize this one uh, on the furthest edge as being that wagon um, there's a little bit of movement from this distance you're not really certain and from this angle you're not really certain who it is but you're but after what Savid's told you it is likely to be Arabelle, Arabelle and Luvash right Bill try, we can you reach them with the sleep? wagon what is the uh it's 90 feet range uh, he Maybe. could he could definitely and it's got what a uh um what's the target with creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose so yes he could he could like absolutely chuck it down on top of that uh group now you don't know who else is in any of the other wagons uh nearby as there are a couple of wagons nearby uh -huh. Um, Can we do it so it doesn't touch the other wagons by casting mm. it behind their wagon so they only get caught in the edge yeah. of it? 
Yeah, just to the east of this work. Yeah, yeah, you could you could totally do that. You could absolutely do that. You could uh, Bill absolutely could do that, and he sights it up, um, and he strums his instrument, and something happens, I guess, uh, and it's really cool. Wow, something happens. It's super. Uh, zeds, little zeds come floating out oh. of his uh, instrument, um, and we will. Who wants to roll that? I don't know what. Uh, have, has someone got Bill's uh, I don't character sheet so. up okay alright let's I go into D&D Beyond and just take a quick look and see because I don't know if his roll 20 is is. Uh, <laughs> I've got Bill yeah is it up to On date roll 20. no it wouldn't it's be probably right. not okay uh, that's right. I'm just look. I'm doing it really fast here. We'll view Bill's character sheet. How could he sheet. possibly roll so low that he couldn't knock out a little girl? That would just be so embarrassing. Please, Bill. <laughs> Please. Imagine I mean, being in a level eleven bard and not being able to put a little girl to. Sleep. I, I think. And I, it's a bad time. That's a bad time. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's probably the case. But you know, I need to. Are we just going to cast it at level two, or are we going to, or do you think? He would cast it at a higher, use up one of his higher level spots. Uh, what is, make, him, what's his highest slot? He's got a level six slot. I think Does he should he? cast it on a, we don't know how strong Lavash is and he might be yeah. quite strong. Yeah. So if yeah. we could get If we can two, instead of the last guy, he's so probably on tough. Myth, so. Let's cast it at the highest Some possible myth. slot for the most <laughs> yeah. sleepy. Mm, what do we think? Agree. I totally agree with American. This mm, is kind okay. of like an operation where we want to kind of max out everything, right? It doesn't matter if we come away with this with no spell slots and like one HP each. <laughs> Prefer preferably just the first one. But like, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. like high stakes here to like be able to put them both to sleep with one spell would be ideal. So he gets yes. to roll um, 5d8 5 D plus then an extra 2d8 for each slot above first level. Okay. Um, so, how do we, I don't. 5d8. And then he's so casting plus it on. Another. Two, plus three, another 8d8. Another 10d8. What? <laughs> so he's so rolled he rolls, 21. He rolls 15d8. Oh, yeah, 21. Damn. And then his second roll, he's rolled 55. So 76. For a total of 76. Oh, he got some 8s. Three 8s for two ones. Three 7s. Uh, three 7s as well. All right, so he casts that, and from your current angle, you don't know what has happened. <gasps> okay, we so continue So the forward. total of <laughs> you can't see from your current That's angle. You, well, you can't we see. Have to, we have to figure out what happened by yeah, going yeah. to see it. Yeah, surely. yeah, 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 for sure. Let's but sneak we do. up. Should we do our army? Yeah, we maybe yeah. we crawl up yeah. through the yeah. wet grass like that. It's very wet oh. grass. Oh yeah, man, good. so oh, yeah, I love I'm it. out slither through it like a snake <laughs> so you don't need to get you definitely do not need to get to the very top of this uh hill if you if you salty snake well it depends it depends where you want to get to so give me some stealth rolls obviously yeah. more you don't have to more you don't have to give me a stealth roll yeah it's fine we're past that we're, we're past that finished. you've definitely yeah. passed it's just one from uh morley uh so I'm so much, not, After from I Wally, used my... not from all. Not from all. The Baron American. I used my inspiration on in this fucking thing. Okay. Eight plus two for ten. I, I cast guidance on myself for two, and then I've rolled an eleven plus three for fourteen, plus two for sixteen. Um, and Bill rolled a, uh, a one. I'm rolling ones all over the place. Dude, Plus a six. Crazy. Oh, no, it's crazy. It's a total for a total of seven. So seven, ten, and fourteen. Um, Morley, you're you're as quiet as can be. You managed to uh, get to a point, um, maybe maybe thirty feet away from this uh, this line of wagons, um, and you can see uh, Luvash just face down in the dirt. <laughs> in the dirt next to the wagon um right. there's no sign of arabelle but uh but where where sort of luvash has dragged himself down the side of the wagon you can only assume arabelle if she was with him is fast asleep also uh inside that wagon 
Um, as far as the Baron, Mirican, and Bill are concerned, uh, all of your efforts to stay quiet are not quite enough. Um, you have managed to sort of a couple of small doors on the wagon in front of uh, the one with Livash open and you can just see this old Vistani maybe in his late 70s just sort of look out and he's he's keeping an eye out across of the sort of horizon line down at the trees looking down where the hovel is and the angle is enough of the hill that he can't quite see you guys as you are all prone on the ground you've made a lot of noise but and but haven't been spotted yet this uh this Vistani in the wagon is, is keeping an eye out, though. His, his door, his window now, it's a small little sort of wooden door, has, has been opened, and he's looking out. <gasps> so that's from this one here. Hmm. Well, I'm going to stay put. Yeah. Hopefully, Morley, you, you're so silent. Can you go up and yeah. tie, him to, think... tie him up and then drag him down? I think that's probably the best plan. I've got the best stealth. I reckon I can get him at least far enough away that we can then take him back to the house and kill him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ride him down the um, slippery grass. <laughs> Not going to ride him. No. <laughs> and don't forget, any any damage to someone that has the sleep spell on them will wake them up. Mm. Well, I'm going to be gentle, like a gentleman. Okay. Oh, should we cast? Should we cast silence first, just in case he does wake? Where, so he, that, he won't. Wake. The, the silence spell only covers a twenty uh, foot radius as well, similar to the um, sleep spell. You can totally cast it. Depends on whether you want to try and kill him there or kill him somewhere else. Well, His we're going to drag him away, so we probably don't need silence unless something bad happens. Just don't get him damaged. Yeah, I'll just be gentle. Okay. I'll just kind of, I'll put my arms you. under his, um, under his arms. So his, so my chest is on his back, and I'll try and kind of just pull him, pull him away into the shadows. This is really crouching. Yeah, yeah, great. So where you, you see him lying on the dirt next to the wagon, and you make your way stealthily because you can't fail a stealth roll now by the sounds of things. You make your way past the wagon and you're keeping an eye out and you can see shadows moving within the tent there's quite a few of the vistani uh inside the tent um the the riding horses right next to this wagon are watching you uh, they're not making a noise they're just kind of interested in what's going on um and there is the noise and chatter of people around this camp and it's it's quite uh, uh there's a very serious tone here uh, and you can see off in the distance the guards continuing the journey around as you uh, hook your arms under his shoulders and slowly pull him down away uh, from the wagon off to the east. Yeah, I pull him off down to the <laughs> down to the hut. Okay, great. You Pizza hut. you manage to you're, you're keeping an eye on the the old person in the wagon, and you wait for the right moment as they look away. And you just sort of slip past. And at that same sort of moment, the, the person inside the wagon is obviously given up looking for stuff and shuts the door, closes it um, back and leaves themselves back into this wagon. The rest of you three sort of just let out a big sigh of relief as you realize you haven't been spotted, but it was incredibly close. All right. Should we take him inside, tie him up, cast silence, and then fucking bludge him into death? <laughs> right after you've just okay. cleaned his house too oh, I'm thinking oh. seven will fix that alright okay cool Yeah, how, how do we want to do this with Lavosh kind of feels like bad but necessary the guard is shocked the guard is like he's starting to panic he's he's like looking at um, Lavosh's body and Lavosh is uh, he already thinks <clears> he's dead <throat> until he sees Lavosh breathing and sort of making sleep sounds and he's freaking out and he's just opening this door and, and really rushing you in um and after all all of you move into the the house he too removes himself from the post and comes into the hovel himself uh to see what's what's happening um Savid as well completely shocked uh just says well, you got you made that look very easy uh is he Thanks. 
He's not dead, is he? Is he already dead? Not yet. No. But don't touch him. Don't touch him. Okay. <laughs> he was just winding. He was just winding up a kick, just ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Baron, have you got anything that can kill this guy in one hit? You're looking at him. He is a sturdy dude. Like you've seen him up close before as well. He's um he's a he's much bigger build than a lot of the other Vistani here. I, he is like a, quite a commanding I I could... presence. Yeah, if he's anything like the other Vistani, he will give us some trouble. But how about we tie him up and then I can give him my give it my best shot. And if that doesn't work, everyone can stab him. <laughs> you can administer a <laughs> yeah, lethal blow. Like, is what okay, you're saying. We... We tie him up. Um, we take him out back. I mold earth around him until he <laughs> his own little coffin. And then yes. he was already there in the coffin, kind of. So we might as well finish the job. Baron can like do some powerful crap on him, you know. And then just cover it over. It's like it never happened. We're not the bad guys here. Yeah. Yeah. Then he's going to find it. Yeah. Okay, we do that. So we incapacitate him by tying him up. Do you really want to do mold earth? Is that a big elaborate joke? I honestly just want to get it over and done with as quickly as possible, yeah. regardless just of whether we up. do it with mold earth or not. Tie him up and I'll do my spell on him. All right. So he's asleep the whole way we're tying him up. He's now restrained to... Uh, what's an object in the room that he could be restrained to? Um, there's like the, de the writing desk that uh, yeah. Savid was at. I'm waiting for Rankin to be like, he stirs in his sleep and babbles, I love kittens, mummy. I'm a nice man. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go to him. He's just, he's, just, he's just going, oh, I can't wait to see my daughter when I wake up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Such a lovely yeah. light of my life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, you... Uh, Maybe are he's you muttering. proficient? I think I... Uh, are you proficient at survival, I... Morley? Yes. Okay, well, you pass that. So he gets tied... <laughs> <laughs> he gets tied to the uh, desk pretty sturdily. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yes. I mean, this is good. You didn't want to do all the rolling, so it's just, it's working yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. auto-roller. <laughs> good. Yeah, it's real good. Yeah. All right. So he's asleep. He's asleep. He's, he's tied up. Asleep. Yeah. I think maybe just as an insurance policy, we could, like, whack, whack a silence on him. So if he does wake up, like, from, like, trying to be murdered then it's quiet. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Bill, yeah. Work at silence on him. Bill is more than happy uh, to to cast yeah. silence. Um, and the silence will help us all disassociate from being becoming cold-blooded murderers. So that's also a bonus. <laughs> yes. This I, I will have like to be outside of the area of silence, I think. Yeah. Sure, well, he's, like, he's casting it in a way that it really only covers where uh, Luvash is sitting. Well, just let me know when to do it, guys. Uh, my just finger starts to I... glow green. I don't want to. I don't even want to look. Oh. Right, I think you're going to want to look, Wally. All right, I'll look. <laughs> Convince me. Okay. I light up a cigarette, and instead of red, it starts to glow green. I breathe out, point the cigarette at him, and a thin green ray springs from my cigarette to the target. I cast uh, Disintegrate. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! And he this is, is amazing. hit with 84 force damage. <laughs> oh, but... <laughs> there is just this is like, amazing, Brian! If, if you, you can see the shockwave when it hits him, but you don't hear it because it's been silenced from the spell... But this force just lands into him and just, if, like, what happens to... <laughs> the head, the head, save the head! No, this is the entire thing, just poof, gone into a pile of grey dust. Everything he was oh, wearing, we everything evidence. he was carrying, he is now nothing more <laughs> than a pile of grey dust. This, and it's so weirdly strange to see this all occurring in complete silence. Yeah, and there is a disintegrated just... creature, and everything that's wearing and carrying except magic items are reduced to a pile of fine grey dust. You now have mm -hmm. a pile of Luvash sitting. Uh, even the rope just absolutely disintegrates right. with it. You can recognise it. 
Well, at least you've got witnesses, I guess. Did he have any personal effects that are magic? Maybe? <laughs> like, a, like a magical belt buckle that said, Lavash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. <laughs> the Vistanian uh, not known okay. to carry magical items, unfortunately. The only Bloody. thing that flutters to the ground is an enchanted birthday card. To my dearest daughter, I love you to the ends of the earth, your precious papa. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you absolutely destroyed Levash. Well, oh, um... Well done, Brian. I'd well say that was rather Brazil. decisive. I like to imagine us all standing around even after the silence is over in silence. <laughs> okay. Because it would have just glowed green basically. for a while. <laughs> It'd be like yeah, uh, Mars Attacks type here. <laughs> yeah. We'll scoop him quickly into a glass jar, write Lavash on it, and start. <laughs> Going around the camp, parading it around to the Vistani, being like, this was Lavash, trust me. Mm. <laughs> it may be harder to convince people uh, without, his, without his head now, but... Well, you were too much of an efficient killer. You could have made him in one hit. You're like Jeffrey Dahmer on acid, ironically. <laughs> How have we done the perfect crime? Fuck. <laughs> I like to think like Baron's unseen servant just gets out a dustpan and starts <laughs> scooping it up. God damn it. He definitely would. <laughs> oh, you're too good at what okay. you do, Brian. You're too good. Oof. We're gonna have to rely now on our we'll personalities have... now. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. You don't need to stick I'll anymore. We'll hit on the stick. But yeah. yeah. Shall we go and talk mesh. to everyone now? Well, you know, we've got the most charming creature alive on our side. That's Bill. Mm. I'm also there. Yeah. I like to think that having um, an elvish woman's presence in their midst would somewhat do something towards their morale, but perhaps not. I don't know if they swing that way. Mm. They do. <laughs> well, I was I was keeping I was keeping Luvash's like character sheet open, you know, just in case. I thought there's no way they can take care of him in one shot. I'll close that now. I'll just close that <laughs> up. Don't need that. Don't need that anymore. Yeah. I was hoping uh, Stride only had 84 hit points. Oh, you reckon just get him with, yeah, yeah, possibly. Like, Ryan, can you do that to Stride? <laughs> great. Wow. That's an yeah, epic we'll move. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, I think you said it. you're going to want to see this more later. <laughs> yeah. Without really even having an idea of what it was going to do himself. He's just like, let's do this. Um, I got it out plan. of a book. All right. <laughs> Studied it. All right. Um, so clockwise. Well, yeah. I mean, yep. that's the same sort of <laughs> direction that the guards are going. So it means you you can sort of stick behind them. Okay. Most charming people in the front. All right. Bill takes that. Oh, and you, American. I don't know if I'm charming per se. Um, what we consider me a prop, if anything, with minus one charisma. I'm not really much use. Okay, well, what we'll do, uh, we're going to get another stealth roll from um, the people that are going to be darting between uh, the buildings. So, uh, obviously, Morley, you pass. That's fine. That's good. That's great. You, you can get through no problem. A stealth roll? A stealth roll, yeah. Yeah. 12 plus 2 for 14. Okay. Um, and you're sort of moving in sort of last in the queue, is that right? So Bill Bill was sort of headed out in front of Morley. I cast Guidance on myself with a 4, and I've rolled a 3 plus 3 for 6, so I've only rolled a 10 for stealth. This is what I was fearing about this plan about running around between the houses, ma'am. Mm, mm, it's not good. Yeah. Um, thank oh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, wait. Thankfully, it's, uh, with Bill and Morley out the front, good choices there. Um, Bill and Morley managed to get to close to this guard before Mirican is sort of heard catching up. And the guard focuses first on both Bill and and Morley, and he, he, he sort of readies his spear, um, and he's sort of looking around, and he can see the guard 
uh, at the other hovel of it from the direction that you guys were coming from. Um, and he just demands, like, for you to halt. It's like, stop! What's happening? And we want Bill to be charismatic. <laughs> yeah. What would... Um, we can ro- we can just do a charisma roll, but what sort of things do you think Bill would be explaining to this, this clearly shocked uh, guard? Um, that we... It's the night of freedom for the Dusk Elves. Um, that Petrina and Casimir aw- eagerly await them in Velaki, and there's no time to lose. Um, okay. And they're waiting on that signal that we talked about, right? Okay, cool. Okay, yes, so... And Lavosh is dead. Okay, yeah, great. B- Bill uh, details, he says, he sort of uh, tells the guard to sort of just relax and that, uh, that this is the night that, that you are to be freed from the Vistani. Casimir's uh, back in Velaki, we, his sister's been saved um, this has been going on too long and we need you in the fight against Strahd and, and this is where this is where it all happens with a roll of I believe it was 27 he has no trouble at all persuading this guard the guard talks about how um, this is exactly what Savid had, had said he can't believe he doubted Savid and that he's excited to get this done um and he says that uh, you, you lay out the plans for where they need to be. So, so what is it? So, is it make their way to the wood uh, tree lane now? Is that the plan, or is there something you want to do? You want to utilize this very persuaded guard to do? Oh, he could help us persuade the next one, and it gets bigger and bigger, right? Perfect, perfect. Although, what if he fails the stealth roll? <laughs> well, he can he can go out front, so that way he'll be the first to be seen by the by the other guards because that's who we're trying to be stealthy from mm. at this point the other dusk mm. elf guards mm-hmm. okay because we're we keeping a good that, distance from we the do that center, how many right? times well no no One, we're not, don't two, worry three, Joe, four, just five. relax relax <laughs> don't, <laughs> do don't just assume i'm gonna make this be a boring affair you only have to convince two or three guards and that is gonna set the ball rolling it's kind of like you need a certain amount of wins or losses and things can go smoothly or badly right so you've done uh, plenty of stealth rolls tonight and we know without a, without any doubt that morley taking this guard through to the next guard will be absolutely fine and that is what happens with bill close behind and the guard explains to uh this other guard who is easily swayed by bill and uh and this second guard you've now got two guards with you that are completely on board with the plan or if any say no to bill as well bill murdered them that is that is true he is cursed to not have anyone say no to him that's that's actually a very that probably helps his persuasion role if anything to be honest okay right (laughs) the next one the next house was the house casimir was at this is going to be the hardest sell these were the ones that are um frustrated with the idea this is what the guards telling you like the guards that were put outside casimir's house they've been punished heavily they are to guard that house even though no one's in it they're angry at casimir they're angry at you lot these are going to be the hardest ones to to convince if we can convince these three we're golden but it's gonna but it's gonna be hard and we need to ensure that they don't run if they run if they get to any of the other guards they're the most influential we have it's going to be all over anyone got a way to stop running greece <laughs> we don't want to <laughs> hold him back by force surely we've got to, got to think of a, a well no we're, we're trying to talk to them and if they mm. if the talking fails they'll run so i mean we could grease them. <laughs> the journey to uh, that hut is is nice and silent. You're able to get there no problem thanks to the ongoing uh, stealth rolls. Um, and they, one of the guards, uh, once you get close enough, maybe within 20 feet, one of the guards, guards kind of notices your presence and just casually looks off to the left, sees two of the um, dusk elves with both Morley and and bill and he just grabs his spear readies it um and he just 
he just goes wait to his to the other two guards and they look over and they get both of their spears ready as well um and they want to know what the fuck's going on um i can i reach out to bill and cast guidance on him because i feel like this is um a persuasion check that he might I don't know if he can fail it, but I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try. Has Bill got inspiration? Uh, does Bill have inspiration? He does have inspiration. Well, he I wanna. I wanna whisper. Yeah. Bill, you know my feelings on this, but you must be my words today. I do not have your finesse. I do not have your looks or your skill. Please be my words. They've been subjugated for too long. We must tell them they need to rise up and take their leave of these cruel Vistani. It's time for them to stand in their own power. We are here for them. We will help them regain their place in history. We must, we must. Be my words, please. I'm just going to push him towards them with the, the afterglow of this beautiful guidance on his shoulders. Perfect. Uh, for a plus two. Nice. For a plus two. That's, that's good. He gets, <laughs> so, so he should use his inspiration because what I what I will say, just to give you some clarity yeah. on this one, these guards are going to be the hardest to convince. This, these guards are going to have a DC of 20. What? Okay. I think wow. Bill's got this in the bag, but we don't want to get cocky, right? Yeah. Use your inspiration, Bill. Yeah. yeah. Definitely and use and your inspiration. And the plus two with the inspiration, yep. I feel like... He's going to pull out something stellar. Two okay. good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, he'd probably still pass the check somehow. All right. He's rolled a 10 and a 12. That's the dice roll. Uh, uh -huh. He has a uh, modifier of 14. Oh! He gets a plus two. And he gets a plus two. <laughs> this is with the rain pouring down. Yeah. And the and the, the, the anger and ferocity on the faces of these dusk elves. Um, Bill waxes poetic about the, of the journey since Casimir was taken from there. Why he was removed from it. The journey Casimir was on. The success that came from infiltrating Strahd's very domain and bringing his sister out and back to life. The, uh, the anger that Strahd has... has uh, given in return and the deaths and fear that it's given but then he outlays every plan that you've made in regards to creating this army um and he, he talks about how not only was aragel uh the first to die but luvash now too if they only checked would be noticed to be dead and missing um and that if they can go off and convince the other guards to join the army, the, the squadron that you all are building, that this could mean the end of not only their suffering here from the Vistani, but for all of Barovia. And they put their... And they they listen intently the whole time, and they are... They look into that beautiful goddamn face of Bill, and they see the little shine in his eyes, um, <laughs> and they they believe they believe completely um and they they sort of motion over the two guards that you've brought over um and they detail quickly a means to quietly and succinctly let the other dusk elves know without without stirring any attention from from the vistani uh one of the guards does let you know though it's only a matter of time before the vistani realize luvash is gone it's only a matter of time before they realize the Dusk Elves are gone. And without any sort of leadership, there's only one place that they will turn. And that'll be Strahd. Uh, we'll just kill them real quick then. <laughs> <laughs> Plan F. Plan F, guys. Fireball. F for fireball. Yeah. And they, they quickly disperse. Uh, a couple of them head to the next building over, but the three main ones... Um, Make their, their, their quietly and efficiently around the edge of the hill and they're trying to signal to the group of guards and sure enough they manage to capture the attention and the guards move down in, in a clump to talk to the three at the other end uh, of like the base of this hill and it's only a matter of maybe 20 minutes before every all of the dusk elves have been um, spoken to and make their way secretly and silently 
towards the tree line. And we'll, we'll end it there, I think, since we've got to wrap it up nicely uh, by 10. Viva la revolution! <laughs> yeah. You guys managed. You managed after all that uncertainty. You did it. See, Joe, I wasn't going to get you to roll stealth between every heart. I demand we do. <laughs> Let's get back in there. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, come and um, punch when he wasn't here. <laughs> yeah he helped a lot yeah 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 secretly uh i realized maybe 10 minutes after we put them both to sleep he doesn't have sleep on his list i just thought he did because he's used it before but we're just well i'll just tell bill he needs to make sure it's on his list next week uh yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah, fine it's fine, yeah. it's fine. Oops. it's good it's Look, because it's sleep fun. always goes wrong apart yeah, exactly, from this yeah. one instance yeah, Why didn't works. you say that when we were planning it? No, I li- literally didn't. S- <laughs> no, I mean oh, that sleep right. always goes uh, wrong. That it always goes wrong. Yeah. I mean, it always goes wrong because people do it during a fight. Oh, true. You know, or true. they do I'm silence during a fight and then it, it really complicates things. And Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was great. This is, this is awesome. So the Vistani mm. are all up at the camp. They're on edge, but like the... But they're just on edge. They're on the lookout. They don't know mm. that their their dusk elf army is seconds away from deserting them, mm. and they don't know that their their de, de facto leader is dead. Is a pile of dust. Literally a pile of dust. <laughs> <That's rough. Wow. laughs> I forgot about it. Keeping, uh, <laughs> like his hat or something, you know. It's a problem for another day. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, but on in, on the other side of things, it means we can't be charged for his murder because there's no body, right? So exactly, you know, no motive. It's fine. We uh, <laughs> we we're innocent. We didn't do nothing. All I yeah. saw was a pile of dust. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> Man, you've been in a dusty hold- hovel already. You've been holding back. That was a great spell. Yeah, that's a level six spell. I've only got one slot. I just, yeah, I love, I love that he's just like, all right, this is this is the time, this is it. I was gonna bust that out on Strad, but uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think that's a good time to use it. It's a pretty damn good spell. Did you get that with level eleven? Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. It's yeah, pretty decent. Couple of six level Oof. spells. Yeah, because it does a number like ten d six plus forty, so it Damn. always does at least. Right. Holy shit! At least yeah, forty six damage. Does. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. It's yeah. nice of it to leave the magical items behind. That was a bit of a kind decision by this whoever wrote the spell. At least fifty. Mm, mm. Mm, yes yeah yeah otherwise i guess shit would go wrong all the time in adventures oh that was the MacGuffin. yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um the creature can be restored to life only by means of a true resurrection or a wish spell so you can bring yeah, big dust deal. back to life with a true resurrection yeah and like wish i don't know about true resurrection but wish is like a ninth level spell yeah, isn't it yeah I wonder if that's the same with um, the the ability that Casimir got, you know, the ability to bring something back to life just by touching it. Imagine oh, if he accidentally. What? Well, that's how he brought his sister back to life, right? But can he do that more than once? He could do no, that. No, it was just it was just the once. It was just oh. the once. He becomes even more ugly. Just imagine if he could do it more than once. He just like <laughs> trips onto this pile of dust. I'll kill you all. <laughs> <laughs> We need to disperse this dust. Yeah. Uh, mm. Lap Kiwi in the chat says, Be safe. and now Arabelle is an orphan. That's great. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Lots of orphans. Uh, maybe we can get her a nice foster well. family. Yeah. Annie. Sorry? Oh, Annie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, right. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow a... she'll wake up and there'll be no parent. Yeah. She'll be like, Dad? Get your bottom, darling. Dad? Ah, uh, you know there is no perfect outcome here yeah yeah no there isn't not at all <laughs> kind could, of the whole Verovia, right i mean van richten wanted you to just kill arabelle as well so i mean 
What do you mean? You could have just done that as well. You're right there. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, for bonus points. <laughs> yeah, just for XP. <laughs> <laughs> you level up immediately upon killing a child. <laughs> you gain five levels. Whoa. <laughs> That was the secret to beating Strahd all this time. <laughs> need to kill some we children. need to kill more. We need to find more children. You have to be more of a monster. You need than to be he worse is. than Strahd. Yeah. The XP gains are enormous. <laughs> Strahd be jealous. He confronts us. He's like, guys, you literally sickened me. I don't have anything to do with you. <laughs> You're the worst of the fucking worst. <laughs> He's like, the townsfolk have been asking me to kill you now. Yeah. He'll save them from us. Yeah. yeah. Especially Greg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. A painful death for the Morley. <laughs> um, okay, we did it. You did it. Awesome. So, we've so next, finished the game. <laughs> next week's oh, Monday session could be an interesting one. Um, purely because I think we're at the point where, unless there's something else you guys want to go and do, uh, it seems like there might just be a focus on, on training. Or well, we could montage it in between and go straight to Castle Ravenloft. Well, that's why I, th I do think like the training will be a, a relatively quick-ish session with a lot of planning for the Ravenloft side of things too. But I think it sounds like you guys are pretty keen to get into Ravenloft now once you've got your armies all sorted, right? Yep. Dang. All right. We might be on the lead up to the end now. You said the same thing last time. This time last year. <laughs> what was that? What did we? What did we do before we went? <laughs> no. Eighteen missions in Ravenloft. No, where were we last year at this time? I'm trying to think what happened at that point. Where were we before we went on our break? I don't remember now. No, neither. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know. I can't remember. I think it was the year before. You were you just killed the werewolf, or just a, yeah, just killed the werewolf at the tower. I think it's been the year before. Was it the year before? Is it have we, how many years have we been? How many years have we been thing? playing this? Um, Two. Let me have a quick. I'm just having a quick look here. Holy shit! We started during the pandemic, so 2019. All right, we... so. Oh you, shit! Man. Okay, so we before we went on our break, you guys had, were in the Amber Temple. Holy shit! Were we? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Terrible progress. That was. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like we just did that. <laughs> we just left. <laughs> that was. <laughs> it just left. That was uh, December twenty first last year. <laughs> Let's just try and uh, do Ravenloft in a couple of one session. So that was episode Timber. 65. So we've gone a bit slower this year, I think. We haven't had as many sessions this year. We missed out on a couple of months, a few months, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's definitely slowed things down a little bit. Um, but that's right. I think, yeah, I think it's good. We'll do. I think next session is probably going to be the prep session, which is going to be all about... Um, what what happens with the armies and what's what's the go for heading out to to Ravenloft, and then after that it's all it's all go, that's it. Half a session and you're done. Just get it over yeah. and done with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really anticlimactic. We walk into Ravenloft. <laughs> Strahd's there. He's yeah. like, oh, I'm really weak. I'm going to my coffin for a sleep because I've been damaged in an unrelated incident. <laughs> And I'm <laughs> sad because Radin killed himself. <laughs> He's like, oh, and the Sunblade, my, my only weakness that you had from the start. <laughs> I didn't know you had that. Ooh. And he shits his pants out of fear. He shits himself to death. <laughs> Before you even yes. get a chance to turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. They're the dignified death that this campaign warrants. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's stuck in the flowing in, in the running water of his own urine down his pants. Yeah, <laughs> which is natural his weakness. Running water. Natural running water. Just like play a farting sound for thirty minutes straight, <laughs> and then 
<laughs> and then cut through the credits. And he had like a whole tube of Barocca, so his piss is like glowing sunlight. His face is melting off of his own piss. I like that. That's what we're like um, if, if we went to dinner with him, just drop Barocca's into his drink all the time. <laughs> Have another yeah, one. Too many vitamins. <laughs> Vitamin D, anybody? <laughs> yeah, because it isn't. They call that what it internal sunlight. sunlight. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the jug's layered. It's made that way. Okay. Yeah, it's good. All right, well, we'll call it there. We'll be back on Monday Ooh. night. I think we've got the whole crew back for Monday, and it will be a army building extravaganza, which is going to be pretty exciting. Um, Seven Nation Army. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. You might say. So I think we'll probably have a little bit at the start of the session just to figure out where everyone is, where the training is going to take place, and make sure everyone's doing what they need to do. We'll sort of work together on what we are, we need to find an agreement. We will build together what each of the armies look like, what sort of skills they have, what kind of uh, hit points they might have. And we will build this together as almost like a, a singular entity for each army, right? Um, and we'll figure it all out, I think. And maybe there's a, if you guys still have that idea of having certain people leading each army as well, we can work on work on the whole thing. I think it'll be an interesting session. Um, but uh, yeah, come in, into our Discord and say hi. Here's the link. If you want to watch our previous stuff, here's the link. If you want to buy some merch, here is the link. Uh, and if you want to support us on Patreon, please do. That fast. I am a pretty fast typer. There's the link. So there's it's fast. I I I like type with six fingers and it's fast. It's just these yeah. six. Here's a link. That's pretty much how I type. Like Oof. a weird keyboard crab. Um, but yeah, next next Monday, seven thirty p.m. New Zealand time. We'll see you there. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. -bye. I'm not going to do the car. Okay, all right. Well, I keep waiting. I'm going to have mercy on Adam's soul tonight. I'm feeling. Yeah. Okay, Thank that's you. fair. That's all nice. right. Well, no car a, tonight. It's a genuine goodbye from all of us. A respite. Okay. All right. Good night. Not all. Good.